Welcome to another Fuser tutorial. In this video we'll be talking about the bidirectional synchronization between the Fuser and Revit. To demonstrate this I'll be using Fuser's family placement tool as well as the foliage placement tool to place some objects around the file and then we'll bring that information back over to the Revit file. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I will be doing is using uh, our cross section. Do a, a vertical cross section to remove the top part of the house just to kind of get a little bit more vision on what I'll be working on. And then we'll jump on over to the family placement tool. So inside the furniture section, go ahead and find our dining room table. Use the shift key to actually rotate the object. And you'll see it snaps to stay parallel with other objects around it, just to help you line everything up. And we'll go ahead and place the object. Let's go ahead and place some chairs with it as well. Hold shift to rotate. You can see what, what the mouse cursor actually hovers over is what the object snaps to. So if I have the object over the table, it snaps to the table. Over the floor, it'll snap to the floor. And this offset will be applied when it sinks back over into Revit. So if you're trying to place, you know, objects on shelves or anything like that, uh, this will keep that offset when sinking it back. Let's go ahead and place three more. Um, just kind of place them off to the side a little bit. And we can adjust this uh, later. So these are a little bit uh, offset. So select all three. So uh, Control Select and do refit, and this will actually allow you to move all of them at once. And we can go ahead and move these to be underneath the table. There we go. And go ahead and click finish. Let's go ahead and align this guy as well. Bring them in a little bit. All right, perfect. So let's head over to the other room. Let's do the bedroom as well. So I'm gonna fly over here and place a bed with some shelves. So at the top we have our bed. One thing to note, you can actually turn and apply refit physics. So if I enable this, this actually prevents objects from going through another object, so I won't be able to actually move this bed uh, through the wall. So this will just help with uh, lining everything up, making sure you don't know, have objects kind of protruding through each other. Um, if we go down and place some casework as well, so let's do some shelves. We have our nightstand. We can shift to rotate this object. You can see that my mouse, my mouse is over the wall, so the object is going to stay snapped to the wall. So place one there come over here and place one on this side as well. There we go. So we have our shelves and our bed. So let's go ahead and back out of this. And let's turn our cross section off. It brings back the rest of the house. And let's bring this information back over to our Revit file. So as we jump over to Revit, we can do our, let me go ahead and full screen this. Inside the Fuser plugin tab, we have a request sync back. As I select that, this opens up this UI that says, hey, these are all the objects that we've found that are different, uh, do you want us to bring those back? So you can select just individual objects or groups of objects. Um, I'll go ahead and select all and sync selected. As you can see here we have uh, red to green. So green means it was successful uh, and the object is actually placed in our Revit file. So to view these, you can see we have our bed, so click view. It'll jump to where our bed is. So here's our bed and there's a piece of casework. If we have uh, jump down here, we have our dining room table, click view, here's our dining room table with all of our chairs. Let's go ahead and exit out of that, we can back up a little bit. Alright, let's go ahead and do our family placement, uh, or not family placement, but our foliage placement. So for that we'll come outside, uh, we have these three trees here, let's go ahead and delete them, we're going to use some different trees. Uh, um, so once those are deleted, we can go to our foliage placement tab, down to the bottom where we have our RPC tree tropical. Let's grab these guys and place them. Let's place a few of these around the pool. And as I back up a little bit, you can see that the variance in height and rotation is applied, and that's controlled by our rotation and height options. Um, let's go ahead and do some uh, bushes as well. Let's grab this little guy, place these guys around. And as I place them, you'll see that you know, it just picks a random height for all these different objects. You can go in and select them, use the move tool, which will actually let you rotate or scale them if you want to make any adjustments to them after you've actually placed them. Uh, so once we have those placed, let's actually put a, a few flowers in here as well to kind of give it a little bit of color. So maybe some crane lilies. Place these guys around. There we go. So we have our foliage placement. Let's go ahead and bring these changes back over to our Revit file. So as I jump back into Revit and do request sync back, we get this uh, pop-up that says there's 17 changes, but they're actually done inside Backbone Terrain. So one of the linked files that's associated with the file we had open. So we can actually go ahead and press continue, 
and Revit's going to, or Fuser's going to launch a second instance of Revit that opens up that terrain file. Since we place the objects on the terrain file, that's the object it's associated with. Uh, and so Fuser's going to make sure that, hey, that's where we send our information when we sync it back. So again, go to the Fuser uh, request sync back option. And here's all our foliage placement that we've placed. If we go down a little bit, you can see here's the three trees that we actually deleted. So if we want to bring all this information back, we can select all. Let me actually move this over and kind of zoom in. So we did all of our work around here. And these are the three trees that we actually deleted. Um, so we can sync the selected. And you can see here's all the uh, foliage starting to pop in. And it gets down to the three deleted. And the three uh, trees we deleted are now gone. So as we zoom in here, we can actually exit out of this. And find one of our objects. So right there we select this guy. So that was the crane lily. And we jump on over in here and select that. We have Crane Lily as well. So the RPCs that you place inside of Revit, or if you place it inside of Fuser, uh, they are matched one to one. So the 92 RPC trees inside of Revit already, uh, we have inside of Fuser, uh, but we've expanded on that as well. There's over 200 different pieces of foliage inside of Fuser's foliage placement option. Um, so go ahead and search through those to find kind of the best fit for your project. But that's gonna do it for this tutorial. Please check calictech.com for more tutorials on Fuser and I hope you're enjoying the program.